Hi, this is Delise for the Lily Pad. Um, I saw somebody post in one of our art journal threads. Um, I think it was Beverly. She wanted to see how people use the template that comes in the M3. We always get a template. In this case, let me show you. This is the pretty template. It's by Dawn Skip and Skip. Um, and it is the M3 mixed media monthly template. I can show you how I would use it. Um, I know this varies from person to person. The first thing that I start in most of my pages is actually my background. And this template has very simple background with a lot of paint. And I like BC backgrounds, but that is me. That is my personal um, likings as to have them. BC, BC background. Um, so this is what I would start. I would drop tons of papers in here and I would start just opening and seeing what I like. I like that, but um, uh, at the same time, I may not like these extra doodles here, but then the there's another option of this paper without the doodles, but then I lose some of the extra markings. So this might work. Um, I'm not completely sure that this is the look I want. I really like this one and I saw a couple pages done with this paper and I love it. I love the doodles here even though you can barely see them here in the background. They're amazing. And there's this one which really is just stunning. This map paper is just stunning in this template. And this one with the markings I really really like this one. I'm not quite sure why but I really like it. I love the colors on this one. And this one, again, another map. This one is a little bit more subdued, but it is such an impact comparatively between that, which was the original template, and this. So I kind of like that one too. And this, this one, which is kind of a mix between being a little bit of having a little grungy look, but having a lot of empty, like calming space around it. But to tell you the truth, my favorite has to be a big map. That map. I love it. I love the map. I love, love, love the map. The other one that is a high second is this one. I'm not even sure what I like about this paper other than I like it. Um, so I would probably grab this paper and do a blend mode to see if that gives me a, a little, ooh, yummy, I like this. And as you can tell, I haven't tried this before. So I'm really experimenting here with you and uh, on what's going on. Um, and in this case, since I moved now to um, a blend mode, it's hard to grab the paper. So I usually come and click on my auto select here. So now it's going to move whichever um, layer is here active. So I'm pulling these. So I really am liking those circles. Mm, that is pretty. That is pretty. Now you see how you are getting. Oh, that's what I like. It's adding some extra blue to the map. See, I'm experimenting here. I'm playing. I'm seeing what I like and what I don't like about this. Oops. You're going to have to forgive me about this. I'm in and some out. Um, it's, I'm, I have a new mouse. And it is driving me a little bit bananas. Because it does an extra out of zoom. It's just too sensitive. Hmm. So I like these circles here. I love this that came out with that paper oh yum 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 okay i love that really truly love that um let's see in this case this template goes perfect you know like the colors match my the m3 kit perfectly so in other templates i would usually come and grab one of these layers oh let me hit the auto select again like i would come to let's say those three circles and um like add a paper to that to make it interesting or to actually like match my my page um but to tell you the truth i i don't know if i would even bother 
with the M3 template just because um, the colors are so perfect and they go so well together. Even though look, look at I just added this um, this purple this purple page and it has a little bit of a speckle as you guys see it right and I'm really liking how when I clip it to my paper you kind of have those speckles on my paint and I know that around here there was some like water splashes where are they of course now I want to I want those water splashes that I saw see these oops not those ones um, but these ones in the paper, you see them? See them right there? Oh, I like those water splashes a lot. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is adorable. Pretty. So, usually I wouldn't even bother because it's the colors that I'm going to be using. But in this case, I really like that extra speckle because I'm getting an extra texture. Ah, uh, there goes my mouse again. Um, maybe let's see what happens with this blue. Okay, this blue, I got, I like this paper. See that paper? Mm, yummy, yummy paper. So let's see if we see any difference. Oh, to get a little more yellowish. Oh, I like that. How about if we do a multiply in there? Oh, it looks like it's dark, but I don't see the triangles anymore when I do that. The color one. Oh, that turns. So I. Seriously, I have to tell you, I just love just playing with my templates. So that's what I would do. Like this color, like this painting, maybe a tiny bit flat. So, but I love the color. So I may just come here, see this wood paper, and you see how much, how it just adds an extra texture to it. And I kind of like that because now it looks like I, and it mixed with this color paint in here. And it's just delicious. Oh, love it. Um, I would say that I am pretty happy with my background. I would start now adding elements to this. And um, I am very, this is very hard for me because Usually my art journal pages tend to be simpler than my regular pages, which is the op which is what people think of it as opposite. Um, I want more flowers. I do I'm not a flower person, so I don't even know why I want more flowers, but I think I want more flowers. Um, or maybe some of those stamps because I have the map, like some some of these stamps. Right there. Oh, that's pretty. Um, and I'm seriously like playing while I, while I record this. I don't even know what I really want in here. But there's so many. I'm just mimicking that um, doodles that are here. Do you see them in the paper? So I'm just mimicking and maybe change my. Blending mode. Oh, I like that. And but I think it's a little bit too dark. So, oh, I like that a lot. I really like this tag by Lynn Marie. Let's see, where can I put this? I like that. But I gotta move it on top. On top. Uh, that's my husband. Sorry. He has decided that he wants to interrupt me while I'm recording. <laughs> um, hmm, I don't know if I want to hear or I want to hear on the top. This one might actually change depending of what kind of picture I end up adding here. Okay. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to add just a very simple. Um, shadow okay that's good and this might end up being reduced which i think i'm gonna do right now yeah but i still need something and you know what i'm gonna copy this flower and i'm gonna 
sneak it in here, but I'm going to rotate it so it looks a little bit different. And then I'm making another copy of that flower. And I am putting it there. And those two flowers have no shadow because her shadow is in a different um, layer. So I'm going to just add my fabric. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot, actually. Um, let's see. Oh, this button. I just feel like this page needs some like elements that are like big and in and they have some weight that's what I'm gonna say you need some elements that have some weight in it I'm gonna put this one here I'm gonna make another copy of that button because I like really like it I'm gonna put it right there Let's see what else is has some weight that I can add I'm not quite sure because I haven't picked up an actual um, picture for this because I just wanted to do this for Beverly for to show her how I would use it, which is obviously not necessarily how you need to use it. But well, I love butterflies. I love, love butterflies. I'm not sure if this butterfly goes with my page. Um. I mean, I go. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I usually put the foliage. Um, oh, I like it there. Okay. So, Beverly, this is what I would actually do with Lee. And this is pretty close to what my end result would be just adding a picture. Okay. I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any other questions and thank you for asking questions and letting us know what you guys are looking for in um, in the M380 and, and M3 area and in the art journal section.